Greetings, it's Volfix team. In this video, we will figure out how to trade with Volfix. We will figure out how to set pending orders and bracket orders and examine the basic settings of the trading mode. To switch the window to the trading mode, activate the trading button in the window header. Then we select an account, a symbol, and press apply. So we have a trading panel in the right part of the window. Buttons Auto Buy, Auto Sell are used for placing pending orders. For example, we activate Auto Buy, click on the price scale, and confirm the order sending by the second click after placing the cursor on the necessary price. By placing a buy order below the market price, we set a buy limit above the market price, a buy stop, and similarly for auto sell. Activate auto sell, click on the price scale. By placing a sell order above the market price, we set a sell limit. Below the market price, sell stop. If you want to change the price of a placed order, select it with the left mouse button, Move it to the price we need and confirm the change using the left mouse button. To cancel an order, click the right mouse button on the order label and confirm the cancellation. You can also cancel a placed order through the Working Orders panel in the upper left corner, where all active orders are displayed. Click on order you want to cancel with the left mouse button and confirm the cancellation. Confirmation of order sending and canceling can be turned off in the menu Setup, Trading Settings. We'll get back to it later. Another way to open a position is Buy Best Bid, Sell Best Ask orders. Thus, we place a buy limit order at the best bid or a sell limit order at the best ask. You can do this also by right-clicking on the chart or using hotkeys. For example, let's sell best ask. We see that sell limit order was immediately executed. We see all executed orders in the lower left corner at the trades panel. We can scroll this list with the mouse wheel or with the slider. Also from this list, you can go to specific trades on the chart with one click. We click on one of the trades, and thus we can view our trades for the past days. The history of trades on the chart is saved for seven days. The list of all open positions is located at the bottom of the chart in the Open Positions panel. If we work on several accounts and we have open positions on different accounts, we can switch between open positions on different accounts with one click. For example, let's go to the second account, change the symbol, and we can return to the chart with an open position on the first account with just one click. In the menu Setup, Trading Panels, we can disable the display of panels we don't need. The Buy Market, Sell Market buttons are used to open positions by market orders. The Buy Trigger, Sell Trigger buttons are used for placing pending orders with a trigger price. How does it work? Let's assume, for example, that we want to open a short position only after the price breaks the 98.43 level, makes a new local high, and then comes back under the level. In that case, you would activate the Sell Trigger, click on the price scale, and put the trigger price above the local high at 96.69, and then put a potential sell stop below the price level at 98.42. And in this case, after the price reaches the local maximum and reaches the trigger price of 98.69, a sell stop order is automatically placed at the price of 98.42 and similarly for buy trigger. Let's close this position. Below the trading buttons, you can find the bracket order settings. 
we open a window with the bracket order settings by clicking on this area. To activate the bracket order function, switch it on. Bracket orders can be calculated in pips as a price percentage and in cash. For example, let's set a take profit of 40 and stop loss of 20 pips. You can set several take profits by specifying which part of the position in percentage at which price to close. For example, at 20 pips, we will close half of the position and close the rest of the position at 40 pips. Then trailing stop. For example, by setting the value of 20 pips, the stop loss will automatically start moving after the price passes 20 pips in our direction and it will continue moving after the price until the position is closed. TS Target, Trailing Stop Target, defines when the trailing stop will stop moving. For example, by specifying the value of TS Target 10 pips, the trailing stop will stop moving after passing 10 pips from the entry price and will not go further. And TS Start, Trailing Stop Start, defines the point at which the trailing stop will start moving. By default, trailing stop starts to move from the break-even point, but if you set, for example, trailing stop starts 5 pips, trailing stop will start moving not from the break-even point, but plus 5 pips from the entry price. Thus, if we open a position with these bracket order parameters, after the price passes 20 pips from the entry price, the stop loss will automatically jump to plus 5 pips and will follow the price on the distance of 20 pips until it reaches 10 pips from the entry price. And cancel all when function will cancel all orders when only stop loss is reached, only take profit is reached, or either stop loss or take profit is reached. For example, if we cancel all orders when only stop loss is reached, then if the position is closed by take profit, all orders except stop loss and take profit will remain active. But suppose the position is closed by stop loss. In that case, absolutely all orders will be canceled automatically on this instrument, except bracket orders, which were added or added to other positions on the same instrument. Let's see how it works with an example. Let's change the bracket order parameters stop loss to 100 pips and take profit to 100 pips and click apply. Check if the bracket order function is activated in the upper right corner. And when we place the cursor on the buy market, sell market, we can see potential stop loss and take profit on the chart. Let's open a long position. And suppose that later we decide to open a second position on this instrument. Stop loss and take profit are automatically added to both positions. And for example, let's manually set two pending orders, sell limit and sell stop. Let's suppose that the first position is closed by stop loss. And so we see that all orders were canceled automatically, except for the bracket orders that were added to our second position. The sense of this function is to cancel all orders except bracket orders to other positions on this instrument. Click Apply and check if the bracket order function is activated in the upper right corner, then click Buy Market. We see that the position is open, so here is our stop loss and two take profits. And we can save this bracket order template. Click Save, specify a name, and we can load it when needed. If we want to add a stop loss and take profit to an already open position, we deactivate the bracket order function. Open the trade, click Add Bracket on the control panel, and set up the bracket orders in the same way.
we can turn off the sound accompaniment for order execution in the main window, market watch, setup, alert settings, and set off next to the new trade beep. We also have the option to add your sound files for market orders, limit orders, and stop orders. Cancel All button cancels all orders on the selected account and instrument. Trade Out closes all open positions and cancels all orders on the selected account and instrument. Trade Out All cancels all orders and closes all open positions on the selected account and all instruments. Next, let's move to the control panel. The View DOM button activates the display of the market depth. Lines is responsible for displaying the left price scale intended for working with lines. Hidden ticks display hidden volume on the lower histogram. In the lower part of the control panel, you can select an account for trading and position size. On the right side of the control panel, you can select the type of line, this is a regular line or a price alert, and the order type. The day order will be canceled automatically at session close, while the GTC order will be active until we cancel it manually. Below the control panel, you see the account balance at the time of the last clearing, the blocked margin, and the fee amount on the account for the current trading session. And the right side of the window above the chart displays the results of closed positions for the current session. We should note that the fee amount displayed in Volfix is for demonstrative purposes only. You can change the fee amount in the main window, Market Watch, Setup, Trading Fee. Here we enter the symbol and specify the fee amount per side, for example, $2. Accordingly, the fee for one trade will be $4. Then we press Add. Volfix also has the option of changing the balance of test accounts. You can do this in Market Watch, Component, Position Control. Select an account in the Accounts tab, click Account Size, and enter the desired amount. You can also clear the history of balance changes. The settings of each account are also available. Double clicking on the account opens a window with settings. Here we can make the account and trades public in the trader's rating. You can find it in Market Watch, Component, Social, Trader's Rating. Alias is the account nickname. This nickname will be visible in the account selection menu only for the user. Also, you can mark certain accounts as master or slave. This feature allows you to duplicate trades from one account to another. We have a separate video on the master slave function. The link will be in the description below the video. And then let's analyze some setup menu items used when working in trading mode. Trade out by time allows us to close all positions by the specified time automatically. Contract specification here we can find information on a particular instrument. Hotkey. Setting up hotkeys for trading. Trading settings. Here you turn off such confirmations as confirm order send, confirm order cancel, show send successful, notification of successful order sending, auto close send failed, automatically close the notification of failed order sending, hide account balance. Hide Open Profit Loss, Hide Pips Profit Loss, Hide Close Profit Loss, Hide the Result Display for Closed Positions, Hide Order Comment, Hide the Comment about the Number of Lots Next to the Order, Position Average Price, Position Side on Chart, Chart Coloring According to the Trade Side, Position Font Size, the size of a font displaying data on an open position in the upper corners of the chart. Trade on chart, displaying trades on the chart. Trade size, displaying trade size on the chart. Trade font size, 
the font size displaying the volume of trades on the chart. Also, specific color settings are available. Let's go further. Hide trading panel if we trade using only hotkeys. Trading panel. Here we can set up the panel display with working orders, trades, and so on. If there is a panel we do not need, we can hide it. Next is the risk management settings. We have a separate article on risk management with a detailed description. The link will be attached to the video. The statement is also available in Volfix. Here you can analyze the results of trading. You can find it in Market Watch, Component, Statement. We select the account. Here we have tabs with orders, trades, and positions. The statistics can be found in the Equity tab. Select a date range and press Apply. On the left side, you will find the account balance history and on the right, a chart of balance changes. The trading statistics are in the center. That's all for now. Don't hesitate to contact our technical support if you have questions about the Volfix platform. We will always be happy to help you. You can find all contacts in the description. Thank you for your attention. Have a nice day.